Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to a brand new video. And yesterday you witnessed me unlocking Infernal Gathering. And with that, we got ourselves a Trailblazer Pickaxe, a Trailblazer Harpoon, and a Trailblazer Axe. At the start of this episode, I will be putting these to the test. We're gonna be looking at some experience gains while I'm editing the previous episode. I think I will start off with the Trailblazer Harpoon. Because there is a task to catch 100 sharks. And you know what? This will also cook those 100 sharks. Therefore, I'm doing two tasks while AFKing while editing. This is gonna be so fun, dude. I can't wait. Alright, let's see how this looks. I mean, obviously sharks are gonna be slow, right? Sharks are known to be very, very slow. But yo, I'm excited. Look at this. I get 5k cooking XP every time I catch one. Oh my god. What? <laughs> That's insane, because it cooks two of them. What? So very quickly, the way Infernal Gathering uh, tools work, let's say I'm using a harpoon and I'm catching sharks. If I catch 100 sharks, I'll get a task for that completion, but I'm not gonna get a task for 100 cooked sharks that the tool cooked for me. Now, originally I thought that that would be the case. However, that is not the case. So that is just a tiny little bit of a downside, but as you'll be able to see in this video, the tools are absolutely insane and the XP per hour is hilarious. No, that did not work either. It burnt it, but I didn't get a task for it. So that is... I mean, I can get around it, right? It is what it is. So we'll just get uh, 75 fire making from just chopping these, because these are going to be actually fast, you see? The XP is still going to be insane, but it seems like they didn't make it that it would help towards the tasks, but that doesn't make any sense. All right, well, let's test the pickaxe. Let's see if we get iron bar in the... No, I get steel bar. Wait, what? Okay, so I grabbed the remaining of my coal. Let's give it a shot now. Now I should be getting iron bars. No. I'm getting steel. I'm getting steel bars. And I don't have any coal. Let's go, that's huge. I don't know if that's intended, man, but that is freaking awesome. Wait, so I was right. So it is OP. Let's go. Right, the plan, oh my, you guys have no idea. The plan is simple. 60 mining, then we're mining Mithril. And I'll get two of them every time. And then I can just make Mithril plate body get like, oh, this is gonna be insane. I can't get over the fact that this just gives me steel bars, man. How crazy is that? <laughs> right, so, so far this one is by far my favorite. Um, we're almost 60. There we go, 60 mining. We can actually move on to Falador now. And we can test to see if the Mithril bars and whatnot will work the same. Okay, we are testing, yep, two bars. By just mining the Mithril, two bars, baby, let's go. Oh man, this is gonna be sick. Let's just get a few of these, but then I want to train my mining higher first. Oh, look at... Yo, that's crazy. Yep, we're getting 25 mil mining and we're getting 25 mil smithing for sure. Was that 60 smithing? It was. Look at that experience. 1.6 million mining XP an hour. 1.7 million mining an hour. <laughs> what? Hello? 1.8 million mining is an hour? That sounds, that seems reasonable, I'd say. That seems pretty reasonable. I'm getting to 99, like, I don't care, like, right now. Holy shit, man. Yeah, 900k smithing AFK an hour, by the way. My god. Alright, it is fair to say that XP per hour is easily over 1.6 mil an hour. I've done it for, well, 20 minutes now. But we're about to reach 70 mining and I'm gonna test if the bug occurs again. One of the tasks is to mine 50 adamant uh, ores. So we'll, we'll do that and see if the bug still persists. There we go, 70 mining, we can now mine adamant. And the most important thing, the test. Yep, we get 6 bars. Wait, 6 and no. I think I guess I already had four in my bank. You know what could have maybe happened? I think I maybe need to catch one more shark. Let me just catch one, okay? So we see if it fixes it. No way. Okay, so it the catch 100 sharks worked, but the cook 100 sharks didn't work. If that's a task, yeah, cook 100 sharks didn't work, but catch 100 shark worked. Well, shit. 
1500 total. Already, wow. Sick. 13 levels to go. If you hop off... <gasps> no way, it works! Let's go! You just saved me 7 million quintillion billion hours! Alright, well, we've done a little bit over an hour of mining. No, even more because I reset it. So probably like 2 to 3 hours of mining to reach 85. The XP rates were, for the most part, at 1.8 million XP an hour. Just doing this iron, paying a bit of attention. However, got slightly distracted towards the end. But still, XP is crazy. And now we can go ahead and do the adamant task and do the rune bar task. Now we'll see if it's gonna work by just mining a rune bar. If not, I'll bang the pickaxe, take a rune one out and just mine a rune ore normally and then like superheat it into a bar or something like that. Okay, let's see if this does it. Oh, that was instant. Yeah, I didn't do it. I did get two rune bars, but it didn't do the task. Oh. I wish they made all of these count as tasks. It would be so much more convenient. There it is. Mine 50 Adiors. 100 points. Well, it appears we have 7,346 steel bars. Lovely. Let's make them into plate bodies and let's alg them for profit. Okay, so we are getting about 1.8 mil XP an hour in steel plate bodies, which is going to be a lot of money. Perfect. This actually grew. And this is a task right here, one strawberry I think, boom, there we go, Ardy. And here is AD smithing. I'm just doing this for as long as I have nature runes, uh, because it's gonna give me easy money. There are some very expensive tasks that I can easily do, like move houses around, build certain rooms in your house. And having money is gonna be extremely helpful, because I'll be able to just knock all of those tasks down. So this relic is wonderful. That's what I meant when I said, depending on how many nature runes I have, 50 se 57 steel plate bodies. I'll be alking these while I do the other tasks, making even more money out of the situation. That is a lot of steel bars, my god. There it is, we got it. Steal a diamond from Dorgesh Khan, perfect. I guess my boy Drezel is considered to be already in Mauritania, so I cannot go down here. Okay, we have a beginner clue scroll and we have a easy clue scroll. I think I've not done any easy, so this one will be a task. Wow. Well, this would be convenient early on. And uh, I lied. I've already done one easy. I just don't remember when. And we also have a beginner. Okay, and our cash stack is now over 200k also, so that's kind of sick. Right, so for the next quest, I need to get myself a Mithril Spear or a Steel Spear, so I could either kill Hobgoblins or Mosh Giants. Now you guys know me, I like Mosh Giants. The one task is also to equip a Briofta Staff, so I'll just be taking Mosh Giant tasks and keep killing them until the point where we finally get the Spear. It's 1 in 64, so I should get it in 1 or 2 tasks, and then we go on and complete Time Bo one Eye Trio. Look at that, we found it, and the task is done, like... Perfect timings, honestly. Today is all about the timings and everything is just coming together beautifully. Right, so we're currently in the middle of a quest and I know that the bugs still exist. They haven't patched it yet, so I decided to just catch 100 Karambuanges before... I mean, uh, 100 Karambuans without my my things, without my harpoon, just so I can finish this task and then I'll cook them separately. And now I'll finish the quest, I'll come back here with both this and the uh, actual harpoon and we'll see the xp per hour but it looks to be crazy already points yoink thank you come again 2500 attack and strength 5k fishing 5k cooking not only am i getting cooked uh cooked karambuans in my bank which by the way we'll see now when this reached 100 we'll see if the task is completed if not it's still bugged over a million fishing, over 4.6 4 million cooking. Right, I just edited two full videos and there we have it. First 99, 250 points. 99 cooking should also be 250 points, I think. Hold up, I thought I would get a bit more. Because I thought the first 99 is points and I thought that then a specific 99 is also points. 5k karamb ones, 7k steel bar. Alright, I have two caskets, one is easy, one is beginner, let's go. Beginner is shit, and easy is also shit. I'm going to compare the Trailblazer Axe on three different trees, one's gonna be Maple, one's gonna be Oak, and one's gonna be Willow. And I guess we could also try it on you, 
I am trying to get all the way to 75 fire making, perhaps even a little bit over that, so we can burn a magic log for a task. Some of you may be wondering why I'm still skilling. My plan with my relics is to get to tier 6 relic as fast as possible and then start PVMing because I feel like if I start PVMing now, I don't have the teleport back relic, so it would actually be fairly hard and I would need like prayer potions and stuff like that, um, but if I skill first and I get the relic that I want, none of that will be needed, so that's why we're skilling a little bit more, 6000 points is gonna be hard to get, but that is my goal regardless. So I was getting approximately 1.6 mil an hour on maples, I'm gonna try oaks now and see what happens here, it already seems quite a little bit better actually, wow. Here we go, 75 fire making, lovely, and I think oaks are very very solid and that's a task 100 points there i am also going to try willows just to see for about a hundred thousand xp where the xp rate per hour approximately would be it appears to me that willows are better than oaks and oaks are better than maples so obviously dumbass me completely forgot that there are actually tick logs in the game and tick logs are like a billion times better than everything i touch on that a little bit later on in the video when i finally you know remember it uh but for now i have a mindset that willows are good and that xp rate was good when ticks are like twice as good i just harvested an irid leaf for 50 points oh this is as perfect as it gets getting this guy right at the end when i'm about to get 100 percent favor is so good because there is one task where you basically need to have a matching mask and a matching shield and the way you make a shield is you make it out of a mask and you need to do snake skins and it's a bit complicated but i'll show you in a moment however they need to be the same color so now i can drop this and uh, this will now be the right color even miles wants a piece of this man so this is perfect and one more hit lovely speak to miles that's a sword and tribal mask and they are completely the same color that's perfect all right uh, let's see how this works just that that's it i guess boom 57 crafting got some xp for that one and then i can wield this and wield that and that is going to be 50 points. <laughs> I look funny. Now that's what we call a solid trip to the moss giants. I am going to do all of these mossy keys. And I don't think I want to do these beginner clue scrolls right now. First drop. Absolutely nothing. Wow. Second kill. Steel bars. We don't really need those. Because we have like 6000 of it. Again nothing. That's two nothings in a row. What? Ooh, there we go. Room plate legs. Nice. And again, room plate legs. Nice. A 15 playing Scott. Well, this one I was able to complete. Let's see what do we get. Okay, that's a unique black elegant legs and Piscatori's teleport. Ah, shit. I thought this would be infinite. That's why I clicked because I thought the teleport would be infinite, but it isn't. But this is still really good because it's another unique. And we've also caught 200 implings. There we go. Craft any combination rune. Right. Another medium casket. Could this be boots? Oh, that's very green. That's actually really good. Well, I'm hoping Jagex didn't forget about the long bones and bonus XP on those. Um, this should get me over 50, right? Oh my... <laughs> Wait, wait, hold up. I just went to 60 construction with four log bows. Oh my god. So basically, the reason why we did this is because I need to move my house to Yanil. In order to do that, well, guess what? I need to have a 50 construction. And here we go. We move this to Yanil and that will be a 50 point task. Lovely. Pretty expensive though. Right, here we go. So first I'm just going to build this table so I get my level. And now if I'm not mistaken, I f need to build a portal room and then I need to make a mahogany like around the way thingy. That's going to cost me 100k, so I'm just going to double check that that's actually what I need. Okay, let's see. So I just need to build a frame, I guess. I don't know why I made this many, but hey, there we go. 50 points. 
I almost forgot about the part where I can actually make my own grapple now. Now it would be nice if I figured out how to even do that. Is that it? No? Mithril bolt first. Okay, I got that. 59 fletching. Ah, you cunt. Here we go. One more plate body. And there it is. 85 smithing. I changed my screen region a little bit. Makes it a little bit easier. Um, but the reason why we did this... Very simple, we're gonna grab our runite bar and hopefully I have some coal. I do, nice. Uh, and we're also going to grab a nature rune with a... Uh, I already have a staff of fire, we're gonna super heal our runite... Is that not it? Alright, uh, I can't super heat it, but I can smelt it in a furnace. So luckily my perk gives me two of them, so let's do it over here. Um, should be a big task. I don't know if it's 100 or 250. The task is 100. Pretty solid, pretty solid. Not bad, not bad. We have done 30 tasks in a row and now we can finally unlock Broder Fletching, which is also going to be the way for me to train Fletching all the way to 99. There it is. 77 defense, 100 combat. And that's 100 points. We'll take it. Very nice. Alright, I'll do more tasks later, but for now, let me just go ahead and buy this beautiful Slayer Ring. Alright, there we go, 59 fletching, and now I can finally do the Mithril Grapple. Attach this to the bolt, attach this to the rope, and there it is. I have been getting more and more consistent with my uh, birdhouses, and here is a pretty big level right now. We are all the way up to 70. I decided that I want to do eagle speak very quickly because I want to catch chinchompas. There we go. A little bit of hunter XP, no levels, but most importantly we can now use box trap. Who remembers when I said that willows were really really good? Well, I completely forgot that ticks exist in the game and that is without tick manipulation. Um, I need to wait even a little bit longer so we're gonna try without tick manipulation it seems like it might go all the way up to like three mil an hour in fire making two mil an hour in wood cutting this is insane but then i'm also going to try to tick manipulate but yeah it looks like it will settle at about 2.5 2.6 million xp an hour afk now i want to give it a shot when i tick manipulate well, the decision is, I don't know how to tick manipulate. I thought it was the same as fishing, but I guess it might not be. Anyways, I'm getting 3 mil XP. I feel like a good person would actually get much more here. Wait, it's kind of working now. <laughs> wait, hold up. No, eh, it doesn't work again. Oh, wait, it works again. Hold up. Alright, let's get 83 fire making, and then let's move on and finish off our cooking. There it is. Beautiful. Look at the total level going up. We're also rank 2 cooking right now, which is hilarious. And uh, yeah, I want to finish it. I want to get points for 25 mil. And then I want to get points for 99 in fishing. Why? Well, hey, we just got 99 wood cutting on the account I haven't touched yet. I'm just chopping willows. I have 16,000 willow logs. Do not ask me why. It's the account I'm saving for when I do grind this stuff on my main, but so far the main has been so interesting that I never really used it, so I just left it chopping willows. Very nice. But now, the moment we have all been waiting for, I am about to achieve 25 million cooking experience. 25 million experience in a skill that I never touched. I never, or well, basically I did it just a little bit. But there it is, 250 points for this big one. And guess what? If I log out and then back in, I am rank 1 cooking. So we're putting it in the title, we're clickbaiting everywhere. I'm joking, obviously. Uh, but if I quickly log out for you guys and change worlds, let me show you. Um, I think it's pretty hilarious that we're rank 1 in something we have never trained. Uh, but just to put it over here, I, it might be actually kind of hard. Let's do it like this, okay? So, it's it's I, I play on a very small screen, so you have to go easy on me. But yeah, cooking high scores, we are easily rank 1. It is what it is. And we haven't even trained it. So, to finish off our 99 fishing, which is what I want to accomplish next, 
we are actually gonna go uh, back to our barbarian spot because there is no reason to train cooking any longer. Um, I have over 10,000 karamblans, so we're good on food for probably the rest of leagues, and there is no more rewards for getting 50 mil, 75 mil, 100 mil cooking XP, none of that this league, because otherwise I'd probably camp here for 200 mil cooking XP and start playing the PvP account, right? Um, but yeah, this was sick, look at the XP per hour, absolutely crazy, I'm loving this relic, it is by far my best relic I could have ever chosen, I think. Uh, people can say it differently, but I absolutely love it. Let's finish off 99 fishing. Alright, well, 86 strength, but that is not all. We are also 40 catches, or 30 catches, away from 99 fishing. After that, I think I'll go catch a couple of chins. I also want to get crafting to 60, keep doing my birdhouse runs and then do a little bit of farming. Right now the goal is 60 base stats, I think it's very accomplishable. I also really need to go around and start questing. These tasks right here, 36 left, if I just do a couple of quests, I can get this down and lock Mauritania in almost no time. We are still rushing for tier 6 relic before we start hard PVMing. Uh, but this 99 is definitely going to help in that way. Alright, one more catch, ladies and gentlemen. And we are done! Beautiful! 99 fishing, 250 points because it is an elite task. Whenever I go for more AFK fishing, I'll be shooting for 25 million. And I'll, I'll do all of it here because I'm, I no longer need cooking. But that is very, very solid. If we look at the task list, 4.5k to go. I think I can unlock this very, very easily. Probably in the next episode, actually. It shouldn't be too hard to do these tasks. So Mauritania in the next episode, tier 6 relics most likely. Um, we'll see, but yeah, I really do hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope that you like my choice of the Trailblazer items, like the Harpoon, the Pickaxe, the Axe. Maybe I convinced some of you guys that the that this relic is actually worth taking. I think it is awesome, and I can't wait to get like 99 mining, get more smithing XP as well with it. It is going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to the next episodes. I hope you are too. If you made it this far, consider liking the video, consider subscribing, and I will see all of you again tomorrow with another video. Have a good one, everyone, and bye-bye.